All right, just working on cleaning up this door. I really need to, I need to pop this off. That one, I don't know if I really need to take it off. I don't think it's, yeah, I guess I'm going to. What do I need to have to do that with? Yeah, screwdriver, screwdriver, Phillips. Okay, let's see about taking the door off the frame, how hard that might be. So the bottom of this is rotten. The front of the door was delaminated. And then part of this side is also rotten. So I'm gonna chop the rotten piece off and replace it. But this is odd sized wood. Let me get my tape measure here, hang on. One by one and a quarter. So how do I end up with that? One by one and a quarter, out of dimensional lumber. One by two is one and a half. Two by two is one and a half by one and a half. It's just a touch tall. And then back here, it's not gonna be wide enough. Well, hell, how do I get to that? I guess I'll have to mill a piece of lumber. All right, let me grab my saw and some stuff. It flat, all right, set the blade depth. Let's go, how deep does this need to be? It needs to be one and five sixteenths. That figures it'd be an odd size. All right, one and five sixteenths. Let's make sure that's down at least one and five sixteenths. Open up there. All right, that's two and a half full depth. Let's go to two. Okay, that ought to do it. Okay, wish me luck. Alrighty, that was fun. That saw is an amazing tool. Man, it just ground right through that. Okay, it's not perfectly flat and square. Got a whoopee right here, but we'll get the pieces out of there we need. Let's see, this one looks like this. All right, I can get a length on it, because there is one little piece of it left there. So I need 31 three quarters. All right, so I got my thickness cut out. Now I need to get my width. I'm gonna reset the uh, miter gauge here. Or the rip fence gauge, rip fence, rip fence gauge, rip fence gauge. Okay, well that's the width of our board. Now all we gotta do is come in here and rip this puppy down. I think I can get two out of it, two pieces out of it. Actually, I need to cut, I have to cut this way, which is awkward for me. I wanna be on this end, so I think I'll turn this over. And are we thick enough to get through the whole board? Oops, okay, yeah, that'll work. All right, let's make sure I got this right. Right size, width wise, thickness wise, it's okay. mention the quarter staples here they should be just long enough glue air it's an okay shape for use for once usually after I leave glue set for a while clearly unplugged up here we need more power be right back that's better all right now come down here and do the same thing down here in the bottom this guy here I'm just gonna toenail this guy here We got this frame all repaired now. We're gonna leave it set for a few minutes. I think I'm gonna put a couple of more uh, um, toenails there in this piece here. I don't know if I can get those to go in there. Okay, that'll have to do. We're gonna let that set up for 30 minutes or so. In the meantime, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna use for adhesive to stick this aluminum back down with come up with something all right we're back to work on the door it's a new day get some adhesive remover on those but i'm just going to clean this door up and paint it 
I gotta get it set out here where it's sunny and warm though, so it warms up because it's kind of cold. It's always gotta be one stubborn one. It's not bad. It just needs to be cleaned, a little bit of stuff removed over there. Let's scrape this off. my bucket Ooh, that water's cold I've been sitting out all night <laughs> This piece of trim here, which is on the outside of this door right here, is really badly cracked up. I don't know, can I get that over there so you can see those cracks? So I'm going to try a little bit of UV cured glue on this. All right, so what I'm going to do is, I think, I think I'll do this from the back, I don't want to think about it. I'm going to come in here and I just want to open this up a little bit just so I can get a little extra glue down in between these pieces. Go. It's setting up just from the UV of the sun. No, that's not going to work. That's definitely not going to work. I wonder if I've got some epoxy. All right, we're going to try to let that set up for five minutes or so, see if it'll stick. So I'm going to clean up this lock set. There's a little bit of uh, butyl tape around the edge of it here. We're just going to clean that off real quick. This will be another opportunity to try the strike hold here. Um, let me uh, get you down here. And we're just going to just liberally grease this thing up and see if we can get her cleaned up. Careful that I don't get this on that door. This is looking pretty decent now. Cleaned up nice. Nice and shiny. So what I'm working towards is trying to get all this painted. And I think I'm pretty close. And I've got everything wiped down. Frame, I need to do that door, but it's not getting painted. Well, I guess that little piece down there might. Let's see. It's been five minutes. Let's check this. Yeah, that's holding. Okay, good. All right, so we're gonna five minute epoxy these cracks. Let's uh, get set up to do that. This is 50-50 epoxy. Five minute quick set.
All right, just gonna wipe this frame down. Get it ready for paint. It's dirty. <laughs> So uh, I was happily working along here and I've been fighting trying to get this thing squared up and then it dawned on me that there's screws that go in these corners. So I got these little screws here and they just go in here and hold the frame together. Let's see, it's a juggling act to get the tension just right now. Set this up. Let's uh, see how badly I screwed things up and whether I need to put another coat of paint on it. Hope not, because I think I'm out of that antique white. Oh, I might have enough there for partial coat. Cover up some sins like up here. This is kind of rough. That's a little rough. Could be cleaned up. Okay, let's work on cleaning that up. So I'm just knocking this down with basically a green scuff pad is about 400 grit. And it'll work for what we're doing here. Some of the trim here. Giving a little TLC too. From getting manhandled to getting it on. All right, so I don't think I'm gonna have to do the trim. It's cleaning up nicely here. Let's see, with just some alcohol. Oh yeah, butamus, butamus. This over here, I might have to touch up. I'm gonna get it cleaned up anyway. Okay, let's dust these drawers and then wipe them down with some alcohol. I have to tape it. I don't mind taping too much.
can see I'm on my last coat of paint except I had some kind of a problem last night and a bigger problem is as you can see it's kind of overcast and dreary today it's not expected to rain but I don't know if it's going to get warm enough what's the what's the application oh between 50 I got to get some glasses all right now that I can see use outdoors and well ventilated when temperatures between 50 and 90 let's see where we're at here 55 how warm is that paint? 59. Well, we dodged a bullet on that one. Okay, so for some reason this paint all blistered up here. I'll let you come up here. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty subtle. The light is really flat. <clears throat> but you can see it here. Where it blistered. The spot here. And so when it was doing that, I quit recoating it when I got up here. Until I could figure out what was going on. So since we're good with the temperatures, I'm going to go ahead and dry sand these. I'm going to scrub this off with some lacquer thinner and spray paint it. All right, we're going to go with some 220 on the DA here. 220 on the DA. 220 on the DA here. That'll warm you up. these things down with lacquer thinner like I did you're gonna get a lot of paint off and that's what I was going for except I should have had a glove on let me go get my hands wiped off here here goes nothing it's lifting too I don't know what the hell to do let me wipe that off real quick. That's what I need to do. What's going on? All right. Well, I'm going to have to go do some research. I don't know what's going on here. Satin heirloom white. Is that how you do research is digging a garbage can? Oh, by the way, while I'm over here, never, ever throw a towel like this wadded up into a can. It could catch on fire. Let's see if we can wipe my hands off. And then I go and do it. No, lay it out like that. Let it, let it evaporate. Let's see what we got here. Heirloom white satin, the same thing. I wonder if I could try a primer on it first. Let's see what happens if I prime it. What temperature that can is. 51. Alright, it needs to warm up a little bit. So I'm going to hit it with some automotive primer. And uh, see if that will stop it. I mean, the same exact stuff worked perfectly on the first coat and on the other side. So I don't get it. All right, that's got to warm up. We'll be back. Okay, that's a little bit warmer. It's actually warmed up a bit, and the sun come out. So i got a brand new, clean, fresh towel. I'm going to hit this with some alcohol and uh, just wipe it, scrub it down good. 
see if we can figure out. I don't know what alcohol would take off or that lacquer thinner wouldn't before I go to the trouble of priming it. Let's see. Just a touch 15, handle 1 to 2, 48. Apply a top coat or recoat within one hour or after 48 hours. Wait four hours before dry sanding. Well, I don't know what the hell happened, but uh, even this primer is blistering, so I'm not sure what to think. I'm going to just hold on here for a minute. I'm just going to go ahead and get it painted with this and then deal with it because I got to get this. I want to get this door back together so I can uh, get this thing weathered in. So this is where I left it on November 18th, last fall. I didn't put any butyl tape underneath this because I only temporarily installed it. There's a few trim details inside I want to take care of before I actually put the door in permanently. But I just wanted to get it in, get it out of the way. I was hoping to get things weathered in for winter. I didn't make it because I didn't get this window done. I still have this to take care of. But this door turned out nice. On the back here, I'll get you up close where it was blistering. I ended up just sanding it off. Okay, actually there's still a little bit of sanding residue there. I just sanded all the blistering off and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get some like wallpaper type stuff and put on there uh, that'll look like grass. I'll put a little insert here of the stuff I'm looking at. Let me know what you'd like best. Put it in the comments below. Anyway, so that's pretty much this. It turned out really well. Uh, I painted everything. This. This thing here, let, let me get uh, let me get you here in hand so you can move with me. So I just wanted to show you the repairs that I made on this with the epoxy. Basically disappeared. I can't even I can't even find one. Uh, right there. If you look, uh, yeah, right there. So that turned out really well. The same out here. There's one repair you can see right there. But the rest of it turned out really good. I'm really happy with it. I spent over a period of three days, probably a total of 10 hours. But to buy a new one is like $800. So refurbishing this one, making this one like new, like it is, saved me about 800 bucks, 10 bucks, 80, 80 bucks an hour. I'll pay myself that all day, every day. Be sure and stick around. It'll still be a little sporadic here because we got some weather coming in. I won't be able to get back to work on the camper too much, probably for at least another week to 10 days. You know, I was really anticipating around April 15th would be the time I'd be able to get back and really start working on it. And so we're still shooting for that date. Shortly after the 15th of April, then new episodes should start rolling up pretty regularly. I do have some finished things to do. We still have trim to do. We still have the final electrical put together and finish up. I've got to get the jack system refurbished, but the first thing I've got to do is get this thing jacked up so I can move this camper out of the way. So I want to put a garden in here now. And so getting this camper out of here will go a long ways to doing that. But we'll call it good. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all those social things. But for now, it's time to go. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Till we get together for the next truck camper restoration video. Peace.